We have Dan Pat on the IoT show that was during the live event at IoT Stars in Anaheim. And uh, Dan is here to give us a little update on our friend Walter, this multi-radio module that they developed at DP Technics and that is really rocking the boat here. Uh, so let's check out what's going on with Walter, with Dan. Uh, this episode is made possible by IoT Stars. So thanks a lot, uh, IoT Stars. If you don't know it, it's the IoT networking event you have to attend when going to several related IoT bigger events. Uh, this one is where you see the actual people account. Uh, you have meaningful conversations uh, and it's always very social and very entertaining. So check out IoT Stars and join us for the next one. If you like the episode, subscribe to the channel to make sure that you get notifications when we publish a new one, which will be soon. And then uh, give us a like, leave a comment. Thank you. Hey, we are back here from Anaheim, California. This is uh, the IoT Show Live from IoT Stars. Thanks, IoT Stars, for hosting us. IoT Stars is a networking event that goes around the world in different IoT-related events. Definitely invite you to go check it out. We have Dan with us. Dan, how are you, man? Hi. Good to see Hi, you. Hi, Good to see you again, out here. So you came to the IoT Show already to talk to us about Walter. Yes. An interesting solution that mixes and matches different types of connectivity for embedded devices. Exactly. Right? And here you came with something even more interesting than just connectivity. Yes. When devices need to connect, they will consume power, exactly. energy, to send data over the air. Right? Exactly. So tell us a little bit about yourself. What yeah. is Walter, as a reminder for people? And then yeah. we'll jump into that. So I'm Dan. I'm the founder of DP Technics, and we do IoT solutions. And specifically, Walter is a multi-radio IoT module combines Wi-Fi, Bluetooth low energy with low power cellular. So that's LTE Cat M1, narrowband IoT, and you have a GNSS receiver. Okay. Having all that on a single module allows you to have multi-radio IoT without huge upfront development costs or certification costs. Okay. That's what Walter is in a nutshell. Okay, so basically everything is in there. It's certified, it's compliant, put it on your board. Exactly. Your device is connected. Exactly. It lowers, really lowers the entry point to multi radio IoT, yes. where even if you're in a niche, you can do a custom design just yes. by designing your carrier board, choose the peripherals yes. you like, click yes. Walter on it, and you're good to go. Yeah. yeah. So, connectivity is not cheap in terms of energy consumption. Never, right? We yeah. see that on our love, beloved devices here that run out of the battery after one day. Mm -hmm. And most of it is, well, most of it is a screen, maybe, but a lot of it is data. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, how do we make it work on an embedded device, especially if it needs to run on battery or be out there with limited energy resources? Yeah. So, I have here a proof of concept that we did. Yep. So, we have the Walter module. Okay. We combine it with a solar panel, okay. an EP's energy harvester, okay. and a supercap. Okay. So, this contains no batteries, only the supercap. Okay. And the key is two things the module needs to be okay. So, you need to have good low power capabilities. Walter consumes only 9.5 microamps in deep sleep. Okay. And your software needs to be on par. So what we need to do is you need to have the software talk to the towers, get into PSM mode, get into EDRX mode, and manage deep sleep correctly. And that's what our libraries do. Okay. They are open source on GitHub, so freely available okay. for you to use with the Walter module. And the Walter module then negotiates with the towers how to go into these deep sleep modes. And this proof of concept shows that we can actually use cellular communications on really low power. Okay. It transmits sound pressure level every 30 minutes just okay. by harvesting the 0 0.3 watts solar panel, okay. solar power from this panel. Okay. So it can be really low power. Okay. And super capped, so that way you have some buffer of energy down there, right? Exactly, exactly. So, of course, being in sleep mode consumes next to nothing, 9.5 microamps. Yes. But transmitting is power hungry. So you have, a, you have a burst of energy, and exactly. the solar panel will not give you that. that exactly, much. Gotcha. exactly. And there's nighttime as well. <laughs> and there's, yeah, because there's that many half hours <laughs> in, the night, in the night, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so you say it's a proof of concept. Yeah. Right? So you're basically working at different partners for the solar panel and so on. Yeah, exactly. We have a voltaic solar panel. We have an EP's energy harvester. 
These are two manufacturers that are really into in the IoT world, focusing again with their products on having low quiescent current and really getting the most of out of it. Okay. So if you're working on this kind of proof of concept, that means there are actual customers who are looking for that. What kind of scenarios are we talking about that would require having this kind of you know, solar panel energy harvesting on an embedded device? Yeah. Well, we have one customer that is doing monitoring of horses, and they are now using a LoRaWAN-based solution, but they want to switch over to cellular because they want to have they want to remove the hassle of installing a gateway at every farm because okay. there's no LoRa coverage in that area. Okay. So they want to switch to cellular and they want to drop the batteries. So there, that's an ideal solution okay. to go to uh, a solution with actual energy harvesting because yeah. the horses are outside. They have enough light to energy to, to harvest energy. And with this proof of concept, we've shown to them that it's actually possible. Gotcha. Then your phone is, is telling you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, that's not <laughs> No worries. I was like, is it mine? No, so we had a, an interesting vibration happening down <laughs> Not under control, no deep, deep sleep or whatnot, right? No, no, that was an RRC active mode <laughs> to speak it in technical terms. Awesome. Yeah. Cool, then. You know, in, in a nutshell, Tell me a little bit, how is Walter doing? Walter's my friend. You know, I owe you a blog post about it because you sent me a unit and I still yeah, need to work on that. Yeah, you need to test one. Like in front of actual, you know, uh, uh, people. I, I will do that, I promise. Yeah. But Tell me, how is it going? You know, what kind of, of once again, use cases, uh, projects are you guys working on? Yeah. Well, Walter's doing fantastic. Uh, it's been on the market for a year now. Yeah. And now the volume orders are getting in. Okay. So we've seen all over the world, like from Australia to Europe, even in Spitsbergen, high up north, okay. people are doing designs with it, like doing these kind of proof of concepts. They go to their customers, talk through it. And now we see the first designs with Walter coming on, onto the market. Nice. We have customers like the, the, the horse monitoring system. We see projects in oil and gas industry. We see projects uh, in like um, agricultural settings with weather stations. We have projects on the North Sea where the vessels are being monitored. Mm -hmm. So yeah, anything that has remote connectivity on low power, that's okay. where Walter really outperforms. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty happy. Can people learn more? You said you have like code open source for, yeah. for the software that will manage this deep sleep and do yeah. things correctly. Any recommendation for where people can learn more about Walter and what's going on there? Yeah, just go to the website, quickspot.io. Okay. There on the website, you'll find links to our GitHub where all the source is available. But we also have a Discord community available. Yeah, that's the support is really where we want to make the difference. You know, uh, we see, and, and the cool thing is with Walter, we see a lot of companies that were previously outsourcing their IoT designs because Walter does all the difficult and heavy yep. lifting and we have the open source software we see companies actually doing these designs in-house mm -hmm. and with the discord and chat support we're giving them free accessible support by engine by our engineering team that's available on the chat no okay. email like you need to send something wait three days before you can continue no it's just direct one-to-one -one conversations okay yeah. cool awesome dan i'm very happy that things are going well Thank and you. I'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you. Well, stay tuned for the next guest on the IoT show today. We'll be back.